Hey, so I wanted to show you guys what a Mini looks like when it comes off the FDM printer and uh, after cleanup. So we've got our, for size comparison here, we've got a regular D20, or sorry, D20 here, and our D6 here, standard D6. This is after cleanup, obviously, and this just came off the printer, this one here. Now this one looks like a real mess because he's got his uh, bow being held out. So these are line supports, which are temporary so that the printer, as it goes up layer by layer, has something to print like the cape for example here onto and then you've also got the brim of the hat and the arms and the bow and arrow and all of these different things we had the same thing on this mini before i cleaned him up yesterday for his arms and the sword and the cape and all that so uh, this should come off pretty easy. Now, I can't hold the phone and do that at the same time, so I won't be showing that, but um, there's different kinds of supports, and obviously this part under here, this brim, is to keep it on the uh, build surface while it's printing, uh, and that'll come off just like it did for this. This one also had that brim around it. So uh, this should come out clean. There are some supports on the back here. I actually need to buy uh, a hobby knife and some pliers to help with cleanup because this especially here because we're building supports on top of pieces that we need to keep like the cape or even like uh, part of the head here is going to be attached to the shoulders by these supports but they come off pretty easily. Uh, and don't uh, leave too much of a mess. But yeah, I mean, you can see once all that is cleaned up, they look pretty good. Now, this is this is printed on my, obviously, my brand new um, Monoprice Select Mini, very budget printer, and so you can really see those layer lines, unfortunately, but uh, you, in the future, I'll probably get myself a uh, smaller nozzle and then lower the, increase the, uh, le the resolution, lower these layer heights, and that should uh, increase the detail and reduce all of these uh, layer lines throughout. Um, but it's not a bad print. Uh, once I have a larger or a higher resolution and a smaller nozzle, uh, this will be a slower process of printing, but the quality should improve significantly. So I just thought I would show that to you guys. You can get kind of an idea of what that looks like. And I'll, uh, I'll see, uh, see you later.